hello everyone and welcome back to my channel once again so in today's video we are going to learn some simple doodles using vas and uh, i'm also going to create some flowers and leaves for each and every vas that we have and you can use normal ball pen or needle pen like these these comes in different sizes so very good in terms of drawing but if you don't have this you can use normal ball pen also in today's video i'm going to use this normal ball pen so that i can show you this is not important to learn something with some simple stuff available with us so i'm going to cover all these vase drawing into three different categories so first category is like transparent vase and second is like opaque having different structure in it and third one is opaque but glass material in it so let's start with the first category of having transparent vase of glass material so you can draw things with the help of pencil first so that you can get some symmetry until you will get some satisfaction within your structure and you can rub all the things based on your need so it's always good to have a pencil to draw and then you can trace things with the help of pen so in this one i have created something like this this is more on a diamond side so one side little longer another side little shorter and then you can cover both the side with some horizontal line now in this one i am going to do just opposite so i am keeping the upper lines little shorter and lower lines little longer but this is also on a diamond side itself you can say it now you can see the symmetricity is not equal if we compare left and right so you can do until you get satisfied so that's why it is important to do the basic structure with the help of pencil so we are done with these two let's create the third one so in this one i'm creating i'm going on a round kind of shape but creating lines in it so this is more like round kind of shape but having lines in it so something like this you can create or you can create any structure whatever you like to draw now trace everything with the help of pen if you're not getting symmetry towards left and right it's totally fine sometime in perfection is the perfection so it's okay to have little bit different pattern structure in your vase it's totally fine now trace everything slowly gradually take all your time to trace things and all these three vases are on transparent side so i'm going to create some shiny effect inside it with the help of drawing itself and i'm also going to add some shadows so let's do for the first one so i'm creating pattern inside it something like these and i'm going to keep it like that i'm not going to do any shading and contouring inside this particular structure so that it should look like we have some shiny effect in it and then you can add some more lines you can create some water effect inside it and you can repeat the same thing for other two as well so again i am creating a small small structure then you can shade some areas with the help of dark shade to get some dark effect to get some light effect so these things you can do in these three vases uh, the light is coming from the left that is why we are getting the shiny effect on the right side and you will get some shadow of these vases on the right side itself so we are done with all these shiny effect now you can create shadow these are very simple shadow having straight line like this you can add some lines in between to contour this now we are done with the vase rub all the unwanted pencil mark if you have any and as you can see we have done everything with the help of ball pen and it's not that different as compared to the needle pen now you can create some different structure inside it so for the first one i am creating some leaf kind of pattern having some branches sub branches and i am keeping all these structure very simple so i am creating some 
stems sub stem and then creating some leaves in between and uh, these are transparent that's why we can see the stems inside the vase also so uh, that's something we need to consider now for the second one i want to create some flowers so i'm creating these spiral round kind of structure to replicate flowers you can add some dots to replicate other kind of flower and then you can add stems for each and every flower that we have again you need to create stems inside the vase also because these are transparent one then you can add little bit of leaves in between now we can do something for third one as well so for the third one i want to keep some bamboo sticks so i'm creating some line having sections in it and these are very small so we don't need to worry about too much about the structure and pattern so i'm creating sections like these in different different direction you can do some criss cross also to make it look like a bit real and then you can create some spikes around each sections that we have and you can also add some leaves so this is more inspired by bamboos so you can do like this as well or you can use any structure you can look around you you can take inspiration from any plant or any vase structure that you have now we are done with the transparent one let's do the opaque one so this one is the ceramic opaque again i'm creating three different structure for this particular category so this one is more like round kind of shape having zigzag kind of pattern at the tip and this is the basic shape that we have then we are going to add some design in it but let's make the basic shape for other two but this is uh, going wrong so again i'm creating it so keep the line straight and then curve at the base and then fine oval shape at the top you can add shadows as well like we did for the first three and uh, last one is the most simplest one having v kind of shape in it this is the most common design that we see around vase these are the three structure that i'm going to create on the opaque side having some pattern in it so these are the ceramic vase having different structure and pattern inside it so let's create some drawing to finish these three uh, trace everything with the help of pen so that you can see things clearly and then rub all the unwanted pencil mark now let's draw some pattern for the first one so in this one i'm creating zigzag pattern like this uh, and then again create zigzag pattern in opposite direction and fill this particular area to make it little dark so we have created something like this then create more lines in between these are more on the curved side and then repeat the same pattern like we did for upper area so again one opposite to another creating some pattern like this and fill those area to get some dark shade and create few more lines if you have some space now you can do some cross lines as well if you want to in this one i'm creating leaf kind of pattern uh, in the horizontal line and then dots for the upper section and creating lines in the lower section and then you can contour the lower section with more lines in it now let's move to the third one so for the third one i am cross hatching the upper section and the lower section dividing this particular vase into three different section and then you can create some leaf kind of pattern for the middle section and contour leaves a little bit to get some extra shading and detailing
now we are done with these three you can add some pattern for these three as well leaf flowers whatever you like to add so for the first one i'm adding a rubber plant kind of structure i have all these plants so i'm taking inspiration from those and creating some patterns like this so this is more inspired by the rubber plant Now this one is snake plant. All these plants are indoor plant. You can take inspiration uh, from your home itself and create some patterns like this. Now these are the snakes plants. So I am creating some zigzag solid pattern in between like this. Repeat the same thing for all the leaves that we have. And last one we can take inspiration from the spider plant so I'm creating fine fine leaves like this towards left right center and creating some patterns like this and filling the area so we are done with these three as well now let's create three more these three are glass vase but opaque one so let's create the basic pattern first so again I'm creating three different pattern so this is more like a glass pattern this is more like a jar pattern and you can literally use any pattern whatever you like so I'm creating something like this very simple to draw now let's create one more this is more like a bowl so I'm creating the basic structure with the help of pencil then we're going to trace everything with the help of pen so let's trace things with the help of pen quickly because these are opaque one so I'm adding some more lines I'm doing some contouring cross hatching all these process to make it opaque but these are on glass pattern so I need some shiny lines and shiny effects around it so I'm leaving few area as is keeping negative space and contouring and cross hatching the other parts so for the first one I have added curve line this one I have added something like this and this one I'm keeping simple like this only and then you can add some flowers leaves pattern so this one is more inspired by the rose flower so I'm creating some spiral some petal kind of shape adding stems and leaves this one is done now you can take inspiration from the tulip so I'm creating new kind of shape and then adding petal structure inside it and these are opaque ones so we don't need to create stems inside the vase so do not add anything inside the vase and third one is like we can create some bonsai so i'm adding this big branch and then you can create tree uh, kind of structure in it you can add any shape of tree and then with the help of little dots and lines you can contour the tree area also and we are done with all the doodles for today's video hope this video is helpful for you guys and please do let me know if you guys have any feedback for me and uh, thank you so much for watching my videos see you guys in the next video